Good morning, modern status. It's a nice brisk. 30 degrees out this morning. Got to work on some radius doors. It's a little tricky, but somebody thinks she has to have them. I don't know who that would be. <laughs> I'm up for the challenge. First, we got to take care of all these animals and see why the boys are being so noisy. I don't like stuff with shapes. It's tricky. It's not as easy to do with straight lines. <laughs> it took me a while the other day to figure out how to make the radius, but I think I got it figured out. I'll show you that after we do the animal chores. Come on, boys. Come on, chickens. Here, I'll feed you over at the compost pile. Get you to scratch around here. Chickens love the compost piles. Good morning. You still got plenty of hay in your feeder. You're just jealous because the ladies aren't over here anymore, huh? You lonely. Did Gina give you some grain? No. No. A couple little pieces. <laughs> oh, she, even gave you, she even gave you your own dish. Look at that. Spoiled bar cat. She doesn't need to eat it at the goat dish. No. How's the water, Figaro? Is that some good water? Good morning, Hope. Ivy. You waiting, little pea? Come on, let's go. How's that fill in your noggin? There you go. Spent a while trying to figure out how to make the radius. I think this is gonna be our best option. So I first tried my trash can lid and it would kind of work, but I didn't get the nice radius I wanted. Then I had a cover from a 55 gallon drum, which was pretty close to the same. But I'm thinking what's gonna work best is a piece of PEX piping. You don't trust me? No, I'm not right. I just want to see how you do that. Make sure it's got the right arc. All right, I think so. it's pretty funny that I didn't even ask what it was a trash can that's doing over there. It didn't even. Oh, you saw it? didn't even. Yeah. I don't know what this is about. And then. Yeah. It just needs to hold it so I can trace it with a pencil. Good 
Like, what are you cut with? Scale saw. Oh, not scale saw. Jigsaw. That's what I meant. Right at the crack, we have a half inch. What if you go like from here? Oh. I know, I don't like doing stuff like this, but this is gonna work. We're got it so our PVC pipe comes just a little bit past this mark, a little bit wider than a pencil mark. And we have enough here to trace it, and then right here, this side might have to come in a little bit more to be even with that side. In? Yep. Let's loosen the clamp. Is that good? Yep. We're gonna start on this door. This is the one for the shed side. So if we make any boo-boos, it won't be on the loo. We'll find out in a minute. It seems to have lined up nicely. couple of screws out and reposition them so we don't cut them. It'll be interesting to see how this cuts because this is almost two inches thick and the throw on this is just long enough to go through at the very end of the stroke. So let's find out. do this to make the trim work to go on the outside of the door. So we're really going to get good at making radiuses today. Guess I should have checked my battery first. Let's get that charging. Luckily we have plenty of batteries. screws, otherwise I'll cut into them. showing you how to do the first one so you can do the second one.
one down, one more to go, and then we gotta figure out how to make the trim for it. You like it? I love it. Now I'm gonna want all doors. I think the sawhorse is one of those things you don't think about. Until you use them. Right. Right. I feel like we're making a jigsaw puzzle here.
D for door. D for door. We've been having quite a few cloudy days, so I want to change out our battery for a solar-powered greenhouse fan. The two marine batteries I have are older and need to be replaced, so they don't hold a great charge if, this, if it's cloudy. So it's still inflated, but we have snow coming, so I want to make sure we get that swapped out. A little greenhouse shed over here with solar on the roof and batteries inside would work perfect for the greenhouse. Depending on how fast we move to the new property, it's probably not the best idea to build one here. When we have the greenhouses at the new property, I'll have to make sure we have a greenhouse shed. Close up these doors a little bit. And I'll keep the bees warmer. And I'll make it so they only have to protect a little bit. Boom. The same thing to this one. The bees won't be doing much flying this time of the year, so keep those doors shut up. Less of an entrance they have to protect and less cold air coming in. I do need to get some foam board, put some foam board in there to insulate them a little bit better this winter. Oh, I hear the fan. Ooh. Yeah, that fan's running good now. It's nice and steamy in here. Holy moly, look at these cabbages. That's a nice cabbage. There's some smaller ones, they're decent. Spinach is looking mighty tasty. Some more cabbages over there. Beets are doing good. Let's check out the broccoli. Ooh, broccoli's looking good. Got some florets, some more broccoli. Might be starting to rot in the center. I'll we'll have to pick those for dinner tonight. Wow, don't take me! She said, but Tanner did the other day. Watch <laughs> out! How many eggs? We have, I was just gonna say that. How many eggs? I'm gonna One. say none. We You're haven't been getting very many lately. Yeah. One. Well, they're all molting. But they are all molting. Oh, you were wrong. One. I was right. How many did you guess one? I didn't guess one. She didn't so say now any. I want to say one. Moose, your ladies are waiting for you. So it's beginning some snow, so I figured I better get some shavings in. Hey, before we get the snow, it'll be easier. Most agree.
Yeah. You will. Yeah, Get it. You. That's the one that always wants to get out. I'm gonna say six today. I said five. How many are you gonna say before you go over and peek? I said five. Olivia. Oh. She uh, likes to peek. I thought five. you had me. Five. Oh no. Six. Dad what? was right. Did you peek? Nope. I've been over here the whole time. You yeah, can't prove it. Somebody's been making nothing. So nice to be able to come into a greenhouse and see stuff still growing. I'm gonna make a pork roast, so I'm just going to get it oiled and get seasoned, get it in the oven at 450, go in there for about 45 minutes, and I'm gonna turn it down um, to 350 and let it cook for a little bit longer. Then I'm gonna add some carrots, some potatoes, and some onions to this, let them all cook together, and then once the vegetables are cooked, the meat should be ready all at the same time, hoping. Mm -hmm. I was going to go and get some carrots out of the greenhouse, but then I remembered I had some carrots out in the front garden beds. I know they're small, but once we get snow, I'm not gonna be able to get to them. is one of my all-time favorite meals. I remember my mom cooking this with beef roast all the time growing up and cooking the vegetables right in the pot with the pot roast, that's what it's called. So good, it's even better. Leftover, being able to smash up all the carrots and potatoes and just mixing everything together. Oh, so good. 
I must admit, the radius door is going to look nice. I thought it was going to be a lot more complicated than what it was. That's Pluto in the background. She just lied down. But it's going to look nice once it's all done. I can't wait to get it up to the outhouse and get it installed. I think you guys will like it. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. If you guys aren't already subscribed, down below, hit the subscribe button. While you're there, give the video a thumbs up. It really helps. And we'll see you guys right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.